What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection or network issue or error you're currently having with Ghost Recon Wildlands. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription on my YouTube channel. It would really help me out and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work in YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to take your keyboard. You're gonna hit the Windows and the R key at the same time. So once you click that, this tab will pop up and I want you to type in CMD and hit enter afterwards. Once it entered, this tab will pop up and I want you to type in what I'm gonna type in. So simply copy it, IP config space slash flush dns and hit enter once the successfully flush text pops up you should be able to end this task navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen click into the window symbol open up your settings and navigate right onto network and internet we want you to go to the very button where it says network troubleshooter you're going to use your windows in order to find any kind of issue you could currently have on your pc with network and connection afterwards hit network and sharing center Navigate to the top left corner of your screen. We're going to click into the second link where it says change adapter settings. Stick to the spot and it, it will say Ethernet or Internet. It just depends on which one you're currently using, but it really doesn't matter. Just hit right click, hit disable. Once it is disabled, enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a few moments, so wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, you should be able to have these problems or errors solved. And yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.